Welcome back to our travelogue of Dr. Wily's Fortress! Yay! Speaks volumes about the game that this picture is the worst thing I've seen yet. That's okay, not everybody's an artist. It still looks decent for a Wily Fortress. It's not a Wily Fortress, it's a Proto Fortress. Without the serial numbers filed off. It's a whole lot of spikes, except... Hey, at least this one had the spike drop function correctly. Oh, by the way! Hello, uh... Donkey Kong Country 3, how are you today? God damn it, this level sucked. Uh, that level sucked. I don't know if this level sucked. Damn it, what was the name of that level? I know which exactly which level you're talking about. Crack shot crot. No, 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 we're, we're in searchman.exe's level. Is there a bonus stage where you get to control the thing? Yes, there is. Oh yeah, there is too. There is? I know far <laughs> too much about Donkey Kong Country 3 because I played the shit out of it and I hated it, kind of. But it was like... It, it still was the best game <laughs> I had. <laughs> or rather not I had, but a friend had, and we played it all the time. I was like, damn, this is really bad, but it's still better than the alternative. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have? Jeopardy? No, Family he, Feud? He, he had like a, a lot of football games and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. I mean, Donkey Kong Country 3 is not that bad of a game, but if you know that Donkey Kong Country 2 exists and is so far better... It's just, what do you do then? Yeah. You missed a CD. You missed that one. Shameful. Yeah. I have to go yeah. back and play the level again with bass. What do the CDs do? Uh, they're cheat codes. Wow, that was a daring slide. <laughs> Look man, I trust in this game not to dump me into a slide, into a spike if I slide wrong. Yeah man, uh, it's a great quality of a game where you can say, yeah, I'm pretty sure that you thought of that and would not do that. I sometimes catch myself like playing games and I'm like, ah, I'm pretty sure that there has to be a better way and someone tells me, no, no, uh, I'm pretty sure that you just have to tank this hit or whatever. And it's like, no, this game is a good game. They can't expect you to tank a hit or to not have an easy solution for this seemingly impossible problem. Like, it's good. It's good that games exist nowadays where I can say, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is not bullshit. Yes, we're not back in the dark days of 90s adventure games. Yeah. We're not Look, using Sierra Moon Logic. Let alone, you know, the wizardry games. You cast mi Magic Missile at the Darkness. The Darkness 1. No, they're a lot weirder. Just look up the LP of Wizardry 4. Where a whole lot of people had problems getting out of the first room. Wow. Oh, Yeah, that's probably a sign you probably should have done something differently when developing your game. Well, it was meant to specifically be an even harder to challenge to people who had mastered the first three games. I never actually played any of them. Did they play test it at all? I think it's pretty hard to do difficulty in a puzzle game. Like, it's, this is a, a real brain teaser. And it's like, yeah, but, but because nobody except you knows the solution, great job. <laughs> I have 12 niche dick. <laughs> you can just do that. Make it all word puzzles. What? <laughs> you have a 12 meat sticks? Meat stick. It's an old Professor Layton joke. Oh dear. Wait, it is? Yeah. I only know new Professor Layton jokes. No, just... nah, it was an old parody joke from it. Oh. It was something Penny Arcade did. Oh. I think I get it now. It was specifically the first one with all, like, the townspeople. Just gotta say, this segment just now, great flow. Just could get going. Amazing. Well, well it's even funnier when there's actually more of a story in the later Layton games. You're dangling from a cliff? That reminds me of a puzzle. Oh dear. Puzzle is, how do you not die? <laughs> Basically... Ooh. Some of the puzzles actually <laughs> were story-related, too. It's like, move the Layton slide. to the end of the maze. <laughs> and this level works really well for a gimmick that should be absolute shit. Well, I will say it does work when it's like, oh hey, you're in a labyrinth, and the puzzles suddenly move late into the end of the maze. That works as like a puzzle. By the way, you're being game. shot at by a crocodile with a gun. <laughs> That's this level right now. It's one of those mazes on the back of a uh, Happy Meal. Excuse oh. me, it's Kremlin. <laughs> In this last screen, you did not get shot at, because this is the one screen where I just had to outweigh the sniper showing would have sucked. No, it's because we were right next to the sniper. Huh. Ah, 
so he has a minimum range. So why can't he hit you? Angles. He's just reflecting it off the wall. Where is he even shooting from? Yeah, someone is still shooting from off screen. I'm pretty sure that's Proto Man. Well, then Dude. why did he stop? It's interesting to see both of these bosses thus far have used, um, you know, vertical movement pretty well. Or at least vertical position. Yes, it's like using the entire screen. It's smart. It's well done.